You found me. Well, you're back. Hello. Let's get straight into it. I wish I had a better voice to do this voiceover, but of course, after Mother's Day, I got sick. I've got a flu, but I think it's just a regular flu. I've just got it pretty bad. So what I'm doing here is stripping all of the natives ready for Mother's Day and all the foliage and the filler flowers and it really takes hours. I've started this days before Mother's Day so that I can get it done in time and I'll put it all in buckets and it'll sit in the studio. I actually chose to um, make all the native bouquets, uh, I think it was like four days out from Mother's Day so that they can be sort of done and out of the way and I'm not sitting up until 3 a.m. this year doing Mother's Day flowers. I also decided not to do a really big detailed week in the life. Uh, the video from last year is still very relevant and I thought that I probably don't need to do another one just yet. So I'll link that at the end of this video. Time for something fun. Let's have a flower pageant. I'm almost set up to make all the natives. So you just saw what I've got. I'm coming back today and I'm gonna to make as many of those up as I can. I'm hoping Shiny's gonna make these um, vases up for me. I'm running a bit short, so might have to figure out another delivery option if I run out. And these little planter boxes, little pot things, to do little arrangements in with any small pieces like offcuts. So as I make the flowers, I start bucketing up the little pieces, put them down there, and then at the end I make all of those up. And then this is what we picked from the garden before the frost hit. So that we might get some more sunflowers. We didn't get a frost last night. Um, some basil, some of the last of it. The marigolds, the rest got uh, frostbite. They got ruined. So. We've got those, we've got the last remaining dahlias, just a couple. Um, Celosia, but it actually survived out there, so. Just a few zinnias, but they they look like I'm gonna have to throw them out. They're not, um, they're a bit sort of yuck. I think the cold got to them already. And some fever few. We may get a little bit more fever few if the days stay warm enough. But yes, it is whole systems go. I've got to go in and do deliveries, but what I might do first is just set out some buckets ready to start putting flowers into when I finish making them. So I'll do that, then I'll get going. <laughs> Here we are back at it with the order from the wholesaler, all of the flowers that I purchased and my friend Woodred helped me strip them all.
thought we'd come out to the flower field now we've had that frost it's been a couple of days and we've had a couple of light frosts after and just show you how the plants look now that they've been hit by frost Celestia, there are still some that survived somehow but most of them are sort of looking like this and you know very kind of frostbitten and it sort of sends them a bit sort of soggy obviously my brassicas are fine these little sunflowers are wilting a little bit now they just weren't uh, strong enough to deal with it these tall ones are okay but the jury's out about whether they're going to actually be able to flower now. So I think they might have been a little bit too small. Well, they're tall, but I guess the flowers were too immature. I don't think we're going to get... There's a bigger one over there. It's not open. I don't think there's anything here that we can actually use. And I'd say the frost is going to just end that for us. Do have another row over here. We'll have a look at that. Still got some sunflowers on it. Um, Gomfrina just looks really sad and dry. The stems aren't snappy anymore. They've kind of gone pliable. The status never really developed anyway. And I would say it's because our nights were too cool over summer. This is what uh, Cosmos looks like. It actually freezes the petals. And then when they thaw out, the, the cells of the petals just can't cope with it. The cells of the plants. These plants aren't designed to freeze and thaw out again. Whereas some cells can. Dahlias look really bad. They kind of go like very thin leather because the stems and leaves and everything froze and then thawed out again. The, the heads themselves can deal with, I mean, they look a little bit shabby, but the flowers themselves can deal with a little bit of freezing and thawing, but the rest of it looks pretty bad. So you wouldn't go using it. But as you can see, this is the Dahlia field now. Very, very finished. But thankfully everything's labelled. I've got one really nice pretty bloom here. It's tempting to use but it's not going to last long in a vase. These were the old sunflowers. They're just um, the branches that have flowered. Oops, excuse me. But they're not very good quality blooms. Once a excuse me again. Once a branch, once a branching sunflower is blooming, they don't make the best cut flowers anymore. Tomatillos finished off. It's the same story everywhere, really. This pineapple lily, I don't know, how did it go? Because I might be able to use that. That's how you pick a pineapple lily anyway, you just pull it out. It doesn't look great. But in saying that, this is kind of how they look if they're just on the plant for too long. So anyway, something. Um, sea holly's fine. These are my carrots and root veggies. Obviously, they're going to be fine through these conditions. Fever fuse fine. It just slows down to the point where it sort of stops flowering for a bit. We've got cuttings that we're growing ready to pop in over winter. Now, these sunflowers, anything that was still closed last night, that one will be fine. Anything that was still closed, like this one, now that it's got a little bit of yellow showing, I'll pick it. Anything closed while the frost hit will be fine. And then they've started to open up today. So I'll come through, pick all of that because it's something that we can use. You can see that these little ones couldn't cope with it. These are sunflowers. I've actually got my garlic in amongst the sunflowers down in there. You can see some there, here. It's in the in-between. So we're going to carefully come through, pull that out, and I'm going to plant my lettuces. Now, the kale, it'll, it'll be fine. We've got the net on it to stop um, birds and other pests. It's 
looking good. There's a couple of little holes in it, I'd say, from snails. I probably need to come through and snail bait it. Uh, the basil, it didn't even like the cold weather. So, you, and there was, there's no point, we covered it too. There's no point even trying to cover basil. It won't survive the cold underneath the cover. Um, marigolds, as we probably all know, does not like frost. Some of them have been a little bit resilient, like the flower heads have done okay. But n at this point, nothing else will probably flower. The leaves and everything have... I don't know if the stems have gone to mush, I'd say. The stems are still pretty good, but they've discoloured. And at this point, I'd say the, the heads have been damaged. So I wouldn't want to pick them in camera. I know that's looking okay, but in real life, it's actually really soft. Like it's not too good, so we can't pick that. The, these sunflowers up here, Royal Velvet. The open ones, obviously, that got hit by the frost are no good. We've really been through and picked everything that we wanted off this. This is sort of just collateral damage at this point. This one looks okay, but you can see tiny little bits of damage. And it's only going to get worse as it sits in a vase. So you just leave it at this point. This was the row that we just never pulled out that we don't need. Another row of kale. Then we've got a row of ranunculus corms. We've got it under plastic. We don't need to. We've just got it there to speed up the germination because we don't pre-sprout. We soak and put straight into the ground. This is how we pre-sprout. We'll literally pre-sprout it, sprout them in the ground and then cover it in plastic just to get them going. The, this is another row. This has got them up from here to about here, ranunculus corm, so they're not gonna get damaged from the frost or the cold, they actually like it. Um, but we're gonna show you on camera, probably in the next video, how we do that. And then this could be another row of them. We've got a fair few, surprisingly, that actually survived. Now, another row of Fever few. Now this little, just have to put the name up on the screen again. It didn't do very well in the frost, but it's all, it's a really pretty variety, but it's not the tallest variety. So we're probably not going to grow that again. Um, carnations, they're fine. Here's the fever few, nice and tall. I'll pick those. And we've just got a couple of carnations and I love carnations, but we didn't net them. So obviously they've fallen over. Uh, they actually stay pretty straight though, but you obviously don't want them growing along the ground. And then we've got our baby's breath. We've just let it die because it was the wrong variety. So that's where things are at. When we come back in the next vlog, it'll be the start of season four and we will be getting the rest of these cool flowers in. So exciting start to a new season. Morning, happy Mother's Day. I have no idea how long this video is gonna to take to upload. I have finished making flowers. There's all the little arrangements. I've got all of these, all of this, and then I've got deliveries packed and ready and these deliveries too so to say i am tired is an understatement i think i got about four hours sleep each night the last two nights but it's friday morning and i'm not making any more flowers because i'm out of flowers now well i've got a couple of main stems and that's it like feature flowers but i'm done i really can't do any more i'm going out now to do deliveries and that is it.
what a week, what a season. The next vlog video will be the start of season four and we will just be getting straight back into things. We don't take a break here. <laughs> so we run, we sell flowers all year. Um, if you've been following along, you'll know that the flowers over winter, we buy a lot of them in. We are working on trying to grow more over the winter. So you can see how that goes. Anyway, we'll see you in the next season.